to end this way? And when did you realize that you were having some difficulty out there um, as far as your, your health? But was it before the match or was it during the match? No, I had some issues during the tournament. As everybody knows, uh, I had uh, an issue, I don't know, it was in the second or third match. Uh, then uh, I think it was a little bit better. But um, yeah, in the, I think it was too old in the first. Too old. 50 laugh, something like this, in the first set that I, I felt. And I said to my box immediately that I felt something on the knee. So after that, I was just uh, trying to, to see if in some, in some moment the thing can improve during the match. But um, no, it was not the day. And yeah, yeah. I waited um, as much as I I can, uh, as you could imagine, very difficult for me to to say be goodbye before the the match finish. But at some point, um, you have to take a decision, and uh, it was so difficult for me to to keep playing at the same time that way, you know, uh, having too much pain, and that was not a tennis match at the end. No, it was just. One player playing, the other one staying in the other side of the court. So I think um, I hate to retire, but stay one more set out there playing like this uh, will be too much for me and for myself. How much do you think the five set match the other night affected your knee? No. You never know. Maybe zero, maybe yes. Not. I, I did. I was not feeling worse of my knee today before the match or yesterday when I practiced. Can you describe the pain in your knee in comparison to the other issues you've had with your knee over the year? The knee is always very similar so when that happens. Um, yeah, mm. just accept it. That's all. And, uh, I cannot compare the knee with other times because the pain on the knee always is very similar when I have. So, problem is this this time uh, was something a little bit more aggressive because it was in one movement uh, was not something progressive. Um, so, I don't know what can happen in a couple of days or in a couple of weeks. But um, immediately is much worse when the, when the thing happened like this, in, immediately in a, bad, in a bad movement than, than when it's coming. So, Rafa, because of that, do you, are you worried it might be a structural damage to the knee? Structural damage, and what do you mean? So that you actually did something inside the knee that hurt it, as, as a not, no. not just tendonitis? No. If I have, if I have more things, it will be tough. <laughs> so, no, no. I, I know what I have. Similar thing than always. Just about do treatment, and it's not uh, it's not an injury that tells you three weeks off and you are back. It's not an injury that tells you uh, six months off, you are back. It's maybe an injury that in one week you feel better. It's maybe an injury that in six months you don't feel better. So I know I know what's what's going on with the knee, but the good thing is I know how how I have to work to 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 be better as soon as possible because we have a lot of experience on that. So. Uh, I'm sure will not be the <laughs> six months off. I was just making the I, I was just making a comparison about the this is not a, an injury like uh, when you break something or something like this. It's an injury that is uh, is a tendinitis, and then is a is a decision uh, about yourself about if you want to wait until you feel almost nothing or you want to keep going with with pain. So.
Uh, it's not the moment to think. Well, I, of course, you're disappointed, but you have a great spirit and respect for Juan Martin. I'm curious if, if what it means to you that to see him get to his first final in such a long time since he last was here. Um, the struggle has been very long and with injuries as well. Uh, I, I can't say that I'm happy because I am not. <laughs> uh, I will not lie to you, but, um, but yes, he's a, a player that went through a lot of issues uh, during his career, like me too. So I know how tough is this, this thing, and I know how frustration, how much frustration can, can be when you can't do the thing that you want to do. So he knows very well, so happy to him that he is able to to be back in his top level and yeah, wish him all the best for him. Will be huge if he's able to, to win again in Grand Slam. Rafa, at this point in your career, can you describe how much of your off court work is pain management and, and just keeping your body in shape enough to play these five set matches? No, no I can't describe. It's just my work, it's just my my normal thing of every day, just to do the the, um, the work the right way and just enjoy the, the moments when I had the chance to, to play with health, healthy conditions. I, I'm having two great years. Um, yeah, last year was a fantastic year. This year have been a fantastic year until, until this moment. I lost four matches, two of them I had to retire. It. Negative thing is two of them have been in a quarterfinals and in the semifinals of Grand Slam, so close to fight for for titles. Uh, that's frustrating. <laughs> that's can't can tell you another thing. It's, it's tough for me. Uh, it's not about losing. It's about don't have the chance to to, to fight for it. And I I feel that I. I fight it all my career against these kind of things too. Uh, I miss a lot of opportunities, but in the other hand, I, I won a lot. So it's tough these moments, but at the same time, um, in the other hand, uh, I'm going to keep going and I'm going to keep working hard to keep having opportunities. I know the things um, are going the right way. I am playing well, I am enjoying Concord. Uh, I'm having a lot of success, and I'm very competitive at the age of 32 that a um, lot of people of this room, including myself, uh, never will think that at the age of 32 I will be here fighting for titles and fighting for the first positions of the ranking. So all my career, um, everybody say that because of my style I will have a short career. I'm still here. I, I'm still here because I, I love what I'm doing. I, I still have the passion for for, for the game, and I'm going to keep fighting and working hard to, to keep enjoying this, this, this tour and keep having chances to compete at the highest level. So that's all. Last two in English. Rafa, when you, when you look at the, the injuries that, that you've had to deal with, Novak's had to deal with, Rogers had to deal with, the one Martin and down the list, um, I mean, is this just the modern, is this just the reality of? of modern tennis that, that you're going to have to sustain these injuries to play at, at the level that you guys play at? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Sorry, but it's not on a, it's not fair to compare myself with them. <laughs> they they didn't have a lot of, uh, they had, uh, Novak had something last year, not, Roger had a couple of ones, but at the age of 36, so it, it's not the same. Uh, I miss it. it you, you can you can go to the history and you can you can compare how many Grand Slams I miss it in my career and Master Thousand, and you can compare how many they, they miss it. So. Sorry, but it's, it's, not a, it's not a real comparison. But it's part of the game. So I can't and I will not complain. It's just uh, something that is like this. And uh, even like this, I am in a, in a good sport, in a good sport of the, of the history of this sport. So, and keep going. That's, that's all. Um, Rafa, is hard court particularly difficult on your knees, given your injury history at this point? Okay. 